Yo, what's going on, Alien Race? How are you guys doing? That was the Lando gameplay trailer on Yavin 4. Inside of Camino, our first ever look, which looks absolutely breathtaking. I cannot wait to play and explore that. And of course, Star Killer Base, another inside look with Star Killer Base. Now, Lando, brand new outfit, his general outfit within Battlefront 2, but looks like the default outfit that we will get for him. And maybe the Battlefront 2015 outfit will be the unlockable outfit that we get for him. I don't know if every single hero is going to have a secondary outfit because I can't imagine Darth Vader having one or anyone like that. Don't know how it's going to work. But Lando has a new ability which we see the smoke screen. The smoke screen will and the night sniper will become absolutely a lethal com combination because with the night sniper you can then see through the smoke screen. I'm not sure if the X-ray vision will be another ability that you have to activate before you start shooting them or if that's just what you see when you throw them in the smoke screen and you aim in through it. We have to find out. Now the smoke grenade will create a massive amount of team and objective based plays because say you're attacking an objective, you go Lando, you throw down that smoke grenade and you can see all the enemies defending that room or that area f for their lives. They're just sitting there shooting through the smoke, maybe get lucky if you hits on you. You can then you know pick them off one by one and when mo the majority of the defending team have gone, you and the whole team can then charge through that smoke and take over the objective. So if you're a Lando player, I'm assuming it's either for objective based or team based plays. A Lando does look like a team based hero, so if you're playing as Lando, make sure to help the team out. Now, we also get a look at his electric grenade trap, which he did have in 2015 Battlefront. I'm still assuming it's going to be the same. You have to spam a certain button or a certain key to actually escape the trap, or you're just going to either fry to death with the electricity or Lando is just gonna easily execute you. Now I don't know how long or wide the range is but you see the guy up the stairs in Starkiller Base he gets affected by that so it also affects different heights and different a massive amount of width so if they have a star card for that again that might be the maximum star card that you had equipped right there because that was quite a large radius of where that grenade managed to trap all the enemies. Now that again could create a massive amount of plays. You could trap up to, I'm guessing, unlimited enemies. So maybe like six or seven enemies, they're all fighting for their life, spamming buttons, trying to get out, and Lando just picks them all off. It, Lando does look absolutely phenomenal in this game, along with inside of Camino. I just, hopefully they've added in, you know, a few Obi-Wan or Jango Fett easter eggs in there that would be great and I cannot wait to play on Starkiller Base and Camino. it looks amazing and I just can't wait to play online on Battlefront 2. Comment below what one would you prefer to play on interior wise, Starkiller Base which looks phenomenal again and Camino, both of them looking outstanding and yeah create massive amounts of mayhem on both of these maps. Comment below what one would you be your favourite one to play on as Lando or as anyone in the Star Wars universe. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. There will be more hero videos coming out soon, hopefully. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day.